So yesterday I was uh, in the car doing a little journey down to Cork, passing through a place near Mitchellstown, a uh, beautiful, beautiful part of the world, and uh, at the foot of the Galtee Mountains there. And uh, I was listening to a song, and I think for, for from, I don't know, my, my, my generation were kind of, were kind of odd, we're kind of between the older generation and the younger generation, at least that's what I think. Uh, mm -hmm. So we're kind, of this, we're kind of this step over generation between kind of technology and lack thereof. So anyway, so I find that for, uh, for myself, a lot of um, modern worship music, while it might be nice and that, it doesn't have the same profundity of lyric as a lot of the older stuff, you know, your holy God, we praise thy name, like you've got these kind of epic songs from yesteryear, uh, and the, 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 the words are quite profound, the meaning is quite profound. Um, modern songs, I find anyway, tend not to be. They just, uh, lyrically, they tend to be kind of a bit weak. Uh, but anyway, listening to this song <coughs> on the radio, on the, on, on the YouTube, and, uh, and it just struck me. So this, the song is about, it's called So Lie by Hillsong. And uh, and I had I may have had it turned up a little more than more than and I may have been singing at the top of my voice uh, because I was on my own and there are no cameras so uh, <coughs> so I was belting it out and the song it it it's it's I I think it's just absolutely beautifully put together and I think it's exceptionally written that I think that the, the lyrics are just absolutely phenomenal I love them uh, I won't go through the whole thing. But it speaks about, about God creating things, right? And the, the idea is that, like, if creation can get the praise of God right, then so can I, right? So and it, the, the words go like, and at your breath, a hundred million, billion galaxies are formed. At the vapor of your breath, the planets are formed. You know, so it's just, it's, it's this, this, this idea that like just, God just thinks it just breathes and a hundred million galaxies come into existence. And the vapor of his breath, that, that the planets are formed. And then I was looking around me going, like, I remember hearing, I think it was the Curie of ours, said that all creatures, all creatures glorify God as they're supposed to. You know, the birds, the slugs, <laughs> they leave that trail of slime because that's what they were supposed to do. That's what they were created to do. And to provide food for hedgehogs, uh, whatever else eats them, God help them. Um, the French. <laughs> <laughs> So, so like that's what they, that's what that's what they were that's what they were created to do, and they do it, and in their own little way they glorify God, and that's kind of the second verse of the song. Then that you know, uh, at, at God's breath, then a hundred billion creatures spring into life. You know, it's just, uh, and then like all of creation, so I'm surrounded by this beautiful creation at, at, at the foot of the Galtee Mountains, like, and you're just looking at that, just these hills, and there are all sorts of bugs and maggots and all sorts of things in those hills, and birds flying over you, and um, you know, all of creation is doing what it's supposed to do. All of creation is worshiping God in, its, in, in the way it's supposed to. But there's something different about man. We've, we, have, we have a freedom that animals do not. And we have an ability to love that no other creature can, no other creature has. So all of creation, all of this, like, it's supposed to remind us of the creator. You know, this, the, the, the hundred billion creatures that have been created are supposed to remind us of the creator. Point us back <clears throat> to the source of it all. And then we have this, I'll say this, 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 this unique vocation of being able to love God because we have freedom. And the, the, the difficulty, the danger of that freedom is that we can also choose not to. So the crows and sparrows aren't actually going to fail in their vocation because they glorify God by doing what they do. Build nests, build nests, have offspring and probably provide food for someone else. Uh, they can't really fail in their vocation. We can. We can. And it's just, I was just astounded by, this, by this, this reality, you know, just, as I say, just driving through the country, looking at, like, they're, they're, getting, they're all getting it right. The bugs and slugs are getting their vocation right. But I can get mine wrong. I can actually get this wrong. <clears throat> and then, then it came to the, the last verse, which means it's the best ever, right? This is where I may or may not have welled up slightly. <laughs> and may or may not even now, I just thought it was, Stunning! It was just absolutely class. So the last verse, verse then. So first verse is he creates the, the, the galaxies and the stars. Second verse he uh, creates all of creation, so all of the, the, the animals and 
bugs and slugs and so on. Okay, but then it moves on to, to, to God of redemption, God our saviour, right? God of salvation even. God of salvation. And uh, even in the original song, when she sings this verse, someone in the crowd goes, you! <laughs> <laughs> And I completely, I completely get it. If you listen, listen to the original, like this, by the way, it's been viewed 110 million times, right? almost as many as uh, 100 billion. Okay, that's been viewed quite a bit. But if you listen to the original, as soon as she mentions like this line, which I'm about to read, you hear someone in the crowd or a few people in the crowd get a bit excited, and, and rightly so. Okay, just I think just if you, if you let these words sink in, there's it's actually it is tied into our gospel. That's that's why I chose. You. You'll see at the end. <coughs> And as you speak, a hundred billion failures disappear. When you lost your life so that I could find it here. And if you left the grave behind you, so will I. I can see your heart in everything you've done. Every part designed in a work of art called love. And if you dadly chose surrender, so will I. I can see your heart a billion different ways. Every precious one, a child you died to save. And if you gave your life to love them, so will I. Like you would again a hundred billion times. For what measure could amount to your desire? You're the one who never leaves the one behind. Just uh, an amazing summary of, of everything, of everything, of creation, fall, redemption, and then this plan to, to get us all back to heaven, to, to lead the 99 and go in search of the one, to lead the 99 and go in search of me. And that's, that's worth cheering in the crowd for. That's worth our prayer, that's worth our adoration, that's worth learning. We gotta learn that song. Uh, we've enough to do with the Christmas carols coming up. Oh, we'll, we'll we'll squeeze it in. We'll squeeze it in. But this, it was just that line for me. Just that that one line. Like, and as you speak, a hundred billion failures disappear. That was what got me. That was how. Oh my goodness. Because <laughs> I was kind of I was annoyed at myself. I was annoyed at, as hearing these words. I thought it, it's true. Do you know, as, like, you just imagine the Lord on the cross. You know. And as, as he hangs there, he says, you know, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. I kind of annoyed at myself that, that I caused that. You know, I, I'm in some way responsible for that. And yet, kind of just humble at the same time that I can still keep going back there, drawing grace from it, even though I caused it. It's just, just this isn't human logic at all, like. And then as the Lord speaks... Your sins are forgiven. A hundred billion failures disappear. That's your life and my life and every time we go to confession. So Lord, this is how you love. I'm called to be your follower, your disciple, and a disciple is supposed to be like the teacher. If this is how you love, then that's how I'm called to love. So we ask the Lord to form our hearts according to his. To give us a heart that loves as he does. As we read in the song, I can see your heart a billion different ways. Every precious one, a child you died to save. And if you gave your life to love them, So will I.